All right, let's take a look at this 1970 Oldsmobile Cutlass Convertible. Looks good in the double white color combination. Well, triple white, add the wheels. Super pretty car. We'll take the quick walk around and then we'll get in depth. But this one's really solid, really nice. Paint presents really well and so does all the chrome on the car. Upgraded headlights. Paint isn't perfect. Car gets driven. A little nick there. Little chips there in the stripe. But not a lot to talk about. I'll go around, like I said, if you want to start nitpicking, things like that, there is one spot right there of chip paint. Could easily be touched up. But that's it. Super, super nice driver. Great car show, great cruiser. Let's take a look at the inside. Then we'll pop the hood, get her up on the lift, all that good stuff. Let the top down, show you the function there. Interior on this car is in good shape. Very nice dash. Steering wheel's been changed out. Bucket seat floor shift car. All right, the driver's seat does have somewhere there and a couple of splits there. Carpet's in good shape. Door jams. Bottoms of the doors. Corners. We'll take a look there on the uh, passenger side. Brand new top scan. Not sure we mentioned that. All right, heads up. Pretty simple design. Nice clean firewall. Rocket 350 upgraded valve covers, intake. Uh, it's got the fuel pressure gauge. Swapped out for a Holley carburetor. Nice throttle bracket on this one. Let's let the top down and we'll crank this one up for All you. All right, let's fire this one up. There you go. Nothing like live television. I did not mention that there is no radio in this car. Um, again, I try to point out anything that I see. Very good running car. We will let the top down and then go take a look at the, uh, take a look at the motor or listen to the motor. goes up and down just like she should. All right, we're going to put this one up on the lift. Uh, I forgot to take a look inside the trunk for you guys. But here is the bottom side of the deck lid. It's in really good shape. A little bit of corrosion there, but the lip is super solid. Common on, uh, on the years where they did the chrome strip. But trunk is really nice. Nice seams. Everything is nice, flat and solid. Same here. 
All right, if there is one thing to mention here in the trunk, right here at the end of the drip rail, is a little crusty, right where the weather stripping is, but all solid. The lip is there, nothing's breaking off. This could really just be cleaned up, take it apart, sand it, clean it up. It's got new rubber, but just want to make sure to disclose everything I see. Again, you guys know the drill. If I see it, you're going to see it. There's a little bit of bubbling right there as well. Typical stuff. Like I said, it's that chrome strip. All right, let's get a quick look up underneath this 1970 Oldsmobile Cutlass. This is my first time up under this car. So we're gonna look together. Frame is in really good shape around the driver's side. Driver's side front floor pan, absolutely perfect. The rear pan could use a little bit of work. It's fine to drive it as is. Uh, looks the same for the rear on the passenger side. Front pan again is absolutely perfect. And so is the frame. Just step back. There is some bubbling right here in the rocker. And a little paint run there. But that's it. 1970 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Solid frame. Excellent front floors. Rear floors could use a little bit of work or just drive it as is.